Welcome to PVTV English Edition. In this program, the state of play in Myanmar. We are going to deliver current affairs reviewed by PVTV so that our friends around the world who are craving for democracy and human rights get a better understanding of the actual footage of the situation in Myanmar. So please tune into our, our program. The move of Spring Revolution and the defectors. If one were to identify the most effective means which could beat up the terrorist military council, then it would be the people-based civil disobedience movement (CDM). Since the illegitimate coup attempted, entire mechanism of the government stopped from functioning and is unable to operate until today due to the CDM civil servants who are responsible for those operations. Under the banner of the Spring Revolution, which has been underway for more than a year, high-ranking members of the armed forces who no longer wish to remain under the terrorist military leader Mei Online have taken refuge and stood for the people by joining the CDM. In February, three lieutenant colonels have participated in the CDM. They are the highest rankings amongst those who had joined the movement earlier. It was reported that two of them have contacted the revolutionary organizations, whilst the other one has been staying in separation. Lieutenant Colonel Benyajo, who had joined the CDM, made a remark, saying that soldiers, including their family members, are in fear. To go into the public, where some of them are even afraid to return to their respective hometowns, where their parents reside, and such conditions, I assume that armed forces within the military are beginning to long for transformations, particularly a leader who could lead such a process. Lieutenant Colonel Benyajo is from DSA Batch 46 and graduated in 2003. Before joining the CDM, he worked as a lecturer and made research for the Department of Defense Services, Science and Technological Research Center DSSTRC. He also graduated from Russia specializing in physics and mainly specialized in laser and holography technology. Several news media outlets have stated that there is a great impact to the military as their high-ranking armed forces have joined the CDM. According to these lieutenant colonels who have participated in the CDM, there have been a number of collapses in the military and a lack of trust in the leadership. In particular, in discriminating and unjustifiable atrocities, including killings of the civilians and setting fire on the villages, are now striking back against the military itself. Lieutenant Colonel Myo Min Tun too stated that he heard from his community about the incident in Zagai Division, where the entire village was set on fire and hit by airstrikes and bombings. He also said that he was asked whether or not joining the CDM. His difficulty of not being able to return to his hometown despite being granted a leave and his bad inner feeling hearing people calling them as Sik Kui. In fact, Lieutenant Colonel Myo Min Tung was assigned as battalion commander at Kamaya 351 in Chaochi before joining the CDM. Likewise, another major and a soldier had also taken refuge recently. Major Thin Lin Ao, a deputy battalion commander servicing in Kamaya 585, said he had left the military because he no longer wants to stay in place where responsibility and accountability are greatly absent. So, there are also several remarks whether they use the term defector or CDM and a clear division that the more the armed forces from the military participate in the process, the faster the revolutionary journey would be with the least casualties and quickest victory. Dr. Mimi Winbird, a Burmese-American security expert, said in Irawadi Media that defections are one of three elements, along with the people's support and international support necessary for all successful revolutions. 
adding that the resistance side in Myanmar could focus on defections as a way to deprive the regime of soldiers. Moreover, the National Unity Government has also established the Committee of Implementing the People's Embrace Project to welcome and embrace those soldiers and police who have defected to take part in the civil disobedience movement led by the Prime Minister. As of 5th of March 2022, there are already 822 soldiers and 3,835 police forces in the defectors list that have contacted the committee and took refuge in the people's embrace. The Ministry of Defense of the National Unity Government had also stated its warm welcome towards those armed forces that have took refuge and joined the CDN. It has also encouraged these armed forces that it is now the most appropriate time to take part in the revolution by standing with the people and the fight for the truth as there are now collapse in the military itself. There are armed forces and police forces who have been participating in the revolution in collaboration with the PDFs, LDFs and EROs on the ground. At the same time, a police force to protect the people have also been established in collaboration with the Ministry of Home Affairs and Immigration of the National Unity Government. There are also remarks made regarding the concerns about the defectors including the issue of trust, and to handle them systematically with care. This concern has only grown so much, especially after some of the hardliners who defected in support of the military dictatorship. Despite these concerns, some also reviewed it as a good prospect for even the generals see distrust of the military dictatorship. But, the Prime Minister Man Win Kain Than made a remark regarding the defected at a ministerial meeting as follows. There are numerous defectors who have contacted the People's Embrace Comedy. The comedy had also made necessary arrangements to send these defectors safely to a secure place and provided further assistance for them upon their arrival at the secure place. We are also exerting our greatest effort to make it as convenient as possible for these defectors. Likewise, we are well aware that this is an important element for the revolution. The more successful the defector program is, the closer the revolution will end with less bloodshed.